I moved to Thailand to get rich and hench. Now, a lot of guys in the entrepreneurship space and a lot of online influencers will convince you that moving to Thailand or moving to Dubai or moving out of your home country, specifically the UK or the US, is a good idea. And for some people, it definitely is. I want to make something very, very clear that if you're thinking about moving to Thailand and you currently call the West degenerate and you label it as a degenerate West, oh, I want to leave the degenerate West, you're brainwashed by Andrew Tate, TikTok clips. Don't get me wrong. There's there's good things to his message, but like the West being more degenerate than places like Thailand or you know other places in Asia or even Dubai. I've heard some crazy crazy things. Like it's just completely not true. Yes, in the bigger cities when you go to the UK and the US. There's a lot of degeneracy, there's drugs, there's, you know, promiscuous women wandering the streets in minus four degree cold, wearing nothing but a mini skirt and a sports bra. Like, you see that kind of thing, right? With an elf bar vape in their hand. You do see that kind of thing. But outside of the cities, I've got to be very honest with you, and I've spent a lot of time outside of the major cities in the UK. I used to live in a, in a minor city called Chester in the UK. I can promise you right now, the vast majority, 80% of places like that in, in the UK, in the US, are not as degenerate as what people make out. They, they are beautiful places. It's some of the cleanest air in the world, some of the cleanest drinking water you can find. You can turn the tap on and drink it. Do you, think, you can't do that in, the, in places like this, in places like Thailand, in, I don't know about Dubai, but other places in the East, like, we, we have done well. Like, if you are resentful in your home country, you're going to be resentful wherever you are. It, it, this isn't like an external thing. This is completely internal. And I hope that you can have this paradigm shift because it helped me so much. Number one, it helped me while I was in the UK planning to move to Thailand. It helped me to actually appreciate the things that I had, be grateful and go ahead and do the work so that I could, you know, move out to, to wherever I wanted to so I could do what I want. And it also help me just mentally be a lot more stable. Like if you're one of these guys who's going to like family meals or just like talking with your friends or like, God forbid, talking to girls about how the West is, is too degenerate and killing the vibe, it, it's just not a good look. And I'm saying this, right? And it's embarrassing to admit it. I'm saying this because I've done this. Like I've done this so much. Family, friends, girls, like I've I've done this a lot, like literally lectured people on how the West is completely degenerate. And then I took a trip to, to Thailand last year, I took a trip to a few other countries as well. And I started to kind of think in my head, mm, this is way more degenerate than England from my perspective. There's men coming up to me in the streets, offering me drugs in places like uh, Lisbon. I know what Lisbon still in the West and very liberal, but um, in, in Budapest that happened in Eastern Europe, you know, it, it's, it's prolific. It's all over the fucking world. And people go online and just slate the UK and say that, oh, well, well done, bro. You've escaped. You've escaped to Thailand. It's like, no, I have very specific reasons for wanting to be in Thailand. I, I, it's nothing to do with the fact that I don't like the UK. In fact, I don't spend, I don't plan on spending that long in Thailand in comparison to my lifespan. I plan on spending about a year or, or two maybe in Thailand and then moving back to the UK, moving back to somewhere like London. Like that's my, that's my plans. And I just don't understand like where young men have just developed this attitude where it's like they're putting more energy into hating the place that they're from than they are to actually building their business and building their work and working on their, their purpose and their, their own self. And that's just crazy to me. You shouldn't, as soon as an influencer starts talking about, you know, like, oh, the West is degenerate. We want to get out of the West. It's like, well, why aren't you doing it then? Like, why do you still live in a penthouse in Miami? People like Fresh and Fit and you know, all these other influences that you see. Why, why do you still live there? If it's that degenerate, if it's that bad, what are you doing? It's like, leave if, if it's that bad. And everybody can do that. Like everybody who's saying it, it's bad, everybody can just get on a plane and leave. And I know you're saying it's not that easy. It's not that easy. I, I guarantee you that it is because I have clients who have been able to do it in less than six months. I have friends who have got online jobs and, and left. You don't need that much to move to Thailand. You don't need more than two grand a month. So like, you can do it, it's, it's that you won't because you don't understand how this actually works. A lot of people's minds are just parrots of what 
other people have said. So their own minds would have repeat back to them the message that they've heard from Andrew Tate or other influencers thinking that the West is degenerate. And does it have, it pit, have its pitfalls? Yes. Am I a politician and know everything about the West? No, but I just don't think it serves you to sit at home being this resentful little weirdo. Like, I don't know. That, that's just my opinion on it. It didn't work for me, man. I preferred being grateful for where I was from, raising my vibration. And as you can see, it's fucking paid off, boys. We are in a nice place in Koh Samui, and then we're moving to Bangkok in a month's time. Check out the tan lines of the uh, of the beta. See you in the next video. Subscribe if that was valuable.